welcome to the World Summit on the Information Society 2016. Since 2003, Geneva has been a leading player in this key conference on information and communication technology and development. Coordinated by the International Telecommunication Union and co-organised with UNDP, UNCTAD and UNESCO, it's one of the largest annual gatherings of its kind. It brings together experts from all over the world, experts who are committed to creating an information society for all. The ICT for Development community is out in force. More than 1,800 delegates have come to Geneva to share best practice, exchange ideas and build partnerships. The big focus this year is how to harness the power of information and communication technology to achieve the UN Sustainable Development Goals. But we consider that the ICT is uh, enabler for all these 17 goals. I firmly believe without development uh, of uh, ICT technology and services, I think that uh, 17 goals might not be achieved uh, easily. The goals are ambitious to end poverty, fight inequality and tackle climate change. And the clock is now running if the goals are to be achieved by the 2030 deadline. Well, first, with respect to what we have in front of ourselves, last year we established huge ambitions for what the world needs to deliver in the next 15 years. From now on, it's all about the delivery. We have to move away from the actions or the descriptions of the, the ambitions, the aspirations, to concrete actions. The WISIS Forum brings together the stakeholders from the private and public sector who can turn these goals and targets into action. One of the big issues is how to provide equitable and affordable access to ICTs to achieve a truly inclusive digital economy, and that includes women. In our work, we see the power that trade has to empower women economically. Women who can now obtain better prices for selling internationally online. Women who can thrive in ICT and in providing digital services. Women who can now be financially included through electronic payment solutions. This is why in ITC we devote particular attention to women, micro, small and medium enterprises. At a national level, countries are taking innovative approaches to promoting sustainable growth and development. The United Arab Emirates, the principal WISIS Forum 2016 sponsor, has the ambition to become a global knowledge and innovation hub. The Abu Dhabi 2030 plan and the Dubai Smart City emphasize heavily on the vital role of ICT in encouraging local and national development. As a new paradigm for modern cities, Dubai Smart City offers an innovative ICT-driven approach to addressing challenges of modern urbanization. The ICTs are growing in importance in national development strategies. To reflect this, the WISIS community awarded prizes to 18 winners who found innovative and sustainable solutions to a more inclusive society. Today we heard a resounding commitment to put information and communication technology at the heart of global development. Ministers, heads of UN agencies, regulators, experts from academia, industry and civil society are all committed to harnessing the power of technology to achieve the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals. Tomorrow we'll look more specifically at how ICTs can accelerate some of these goals, which aim to bridge the digital divide and promote inclusive and peaceful societies.